So in this video, I'm going to talk about change in supply and I've already written down the things I don't want you to know because there's a lot of things, a lot of definitions. I already wrote that down for you and just going to go through them, give you some examples and that's going to be this video. So a change in supply is, any fa like, is when any factor that influences selling plans other than price of a good changes. So that will result in the change of supply. That is, it's pretty similar to a uh, change of demand, pretty much when your price stays the same but some other factor changes the selling plan of the of the producer changes then that will cause a change in supply and that change in supply causes a shift in the supply curve now there are six main factors that bring about changes in supply they are the prices of factor of production prices of related good, good produce expected future prices number of suppliers technology and state of nature. Now the price of factors of production is used to produce used to produce a good influences the good supplied. So for example when jet for example when jet fuel uh, increases so the jet fuel price jet fuel price goes up then the supply of air service the supply of air service of air service will go down. Why is that? Well, that is because every producer has different costs. Now, if the price for for producing increases, then the lower then the price that the producer is willing to accept for that good also rises. And if and because different firms or different producers have different cost structures, the producer with the worst cost structure would have a pretty uh, would have a lot of cost to cover so when the prices of production rises the marginal cost will rise some producers uh, marginal cost will rise more than other so more than others so that's why some some producers will drop out of producing that good so then that's how that's how the supply of the good actually decreases the next thing I want you to know is the price of related goods produced and that is that is relate that is the prices of related goods that firms produce influences supply so the prices of related goods that firms produce influences supply what that means for example is let's say that we have uh, for, let's say that we have this energy drink this energy drink and let's say that its price its price goes up then the firm switches production the firm this will cause the firm to switch production switch production to energy bars let's say let's say energy bars bars then the, the supply of the bars decreases why because remember that's the law of supply when the price of so when the price of a good rises rises then the quantity supplied of that good also rises then the when in this case when the firm finds out that the that the that the price of the energy drink rises then they stop making the energy bars and they start making the energy drink another example of this uh, well uh, another note is that in this case energy bar and energy drink are substitutes in production they are goods produced using the same resources so the this and that they are uh, their substitutes, their substitutes in production, in production, which I will just abbreviate in production. And this means that they are goods that uses uses the same resources, uses the same resources. And another example would be uh, the price of beef rises so then the supply of cowhide rises 
Now, we get our beef and our cowhide in the, from the same resource, from the cow. And beef and cowhide in this, in this case, they're called complements in production because they're goods that must be produced together. And you will just have to remember that. I'm not going to write it down because as you can see, I have no space. So then when two goods, when two goods, uh, like energy drink and energy bar, uses the same resources and they can substitute for each other, then substitutes in production. But when we get this, when we get two things from uh, one resource, uh, no matter how, like beef and cowhide, no matter what we do, we can only get, we, we will always get beef and cowhide from the cow. Those are complements, uh, those are complements in production. Now expected future prices is if the price of a good is expected to rise, then the return from selling the good in the future is higher than it is today. And supply decreases today and increases in the future. Makes sense. If if we are the supplier and we know that that the good that we're selling will cost a lot more in the future, then why would we sell it now? We would want to decrease our supply of that good now and sell more of that in the future and that's how we make more money and I will cut short for I will cut short right here in this area and come back in the next video to talk about the number of suppliers technology and the state of